The materials that you'll need for the simple mini leech are Zapagat, Micro Pine Squirrel Zonker Strips, 6 op Black Thread, Size 8 Black Gamakatsu Hooks, and 1 Black Flash Fiber. The recipe shown here in text if you need to pause the film and get your supplies ready. Start by debarbing the size 8 octopus hook and getting that secured in the vise. When you secure your thread to the hook, you're only going to need to cover about the front third of the hook with the black 6 out thread. You can break off or cut the tag at that point. I take the black zonker strip and with a little saliva on my fingers, part that at the point where the strip is about two times the length of the straight hook shank. At that point, I tie it in with five or six wraps, pull that strip back and secure it to the shank with another additional couple wraps in front of the tie-in point. Following this, you take your one single strand of black flash, running it down one side of the pattern, secure it with a couple wraps and then pull it back along the opposite side. This just gives the pattern a little extra flash in the water. Before you wrap the strip, I prefer to put down a drop of Zapagap just to give the fly a little bit of extra durability. You're going to take one single full wrap of that strip around the hook shank and secure it at that point. If you find that the fur fibers are jumping out and getting in your way, uh, feel free to dampen your fingers with either with saliva or from a little cup of water if you have water next to you and brush those back to keep them out of the way. It's good to get at least one firm wrap over the pine squirrel strip and then secure it with a few more wraps in front. After you've trimmed those fibers, you can build a small tapered thread head. At this point, I'm going to trim the black flash fibers to just short or at the length of the tail. Brushing those fibers back. I'll then whip finish or just throw in a couple half inches to secure that and trim your thread. I prefer for the sake of durability to coat the head with Zap Gap or whatever head cement that you prefer to use would also be sufficient.